Well, new tonight, that information coming from the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office. They've named a suspect in the stabbing that sent four people to the hospital yesterday afternoon. Spencer Ross Pearson is accused of stabbing a woman and her daughter in front of Mr. Chubby's wings in Ponte Vedra. Police say they should Police say should Pearson recover from his self-inflicted injuries, he will be charged with attempted murder. On your side, Zach Wilcox joining us from the restaurant off of A1A. Zach, you talk with the men who tried to intervene. Yeah, Destiny, I talked with Kennedy Armstrong. He was the first one of those four people who was able to get out of the hospital, and obviously he's been inundated, but he took a few minutes after he got home to talk with me about what it was like yesterday. He said he got off of work, figured he'd come by Mr. Chubby's for some wings and beer with one of his friends, and that's when, when he opened the door of his truck, he heard the people shouting and somebody saying something about a stabbing, so he said his fight-or-flight instincts just kind of kicked in, and he went running at the group, and his sole purpose was to try and tackle the man because he saw the two women getting uh, stabbed so that's when he said really a lot of the details are kind of blurry at this point but he knew that he had just had to get that person off of them try and break it up his other friend also got in and tried to intervene as well and he said it wasn't until after it was all over that he realized that he'd been hurt uh, he looked down and saw that his jeans were covered in blood and so he was taken to the hospital he had some pretty significant injuries to his hand uh, he's gonna need some surgery for those but he told me that he would do it all again if he had to I can only move my thumb fully. I have no movement in these two fingers, and these two fingers I can only move up and down like this, but it is what it is. I was more worried about the, the ladies being okay. Now that I know that, I trust the doctors to fix my hand fine. And so Armstrong says that he was able to get confirmation that the mom and the daughter are stable and awake now. So that's the first thing that he was asking about all night long. And he told me that he is going to be heading in for surgery either Monday or Tuesday on his hand. But uh, like he said, his main purpose was to know that they are, are uh, going to be recovering as well. And he looks forward to being able to talk with them as they work through their recovery. In Ponte Vedra Beach, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.